I have a question. Have any of you guys ever had this random, spontaneous, maybe not excruciating, but little minor pain, specifically, you know, down here in the cojones or family jewels, um, whatever you want to call them, you know, grapefruits, you know, just out of nowhere. No one's hit you. You know, it's been years since you got hit down there or accidentally hit yourself, whatever, you know, and that would happen to me, you know, at least, you know, and it would concern me a little bit, you know, be like, well, what's going on, you know? It wouldn't be like excruciating, like I said, but it would have me a little bit concerned, you know? And what I think, you know, there is no proven way, no scientific research or anything. I haven't Googled it or anything, but I'm just, you know, going, I'm coming from within, you know? Let me just get it out there, you know? I think, you know, we have those random pains, you know, down there because of this. Android, iPhone, whatever you have, you know. And so, I'm not trying to say this is right or anything, but, you know, this is what my, intu my intuition is telling me, you know. And I want to get this out there before I head out, you know, like I have anywhere to go. I'm just pretty bored at home, you know. I meditated early this morning. I've uh, been at home. I don't feel like watching TV all day. You know, I'm going to do that tonight. But anyways, let me just get on with the video. So, yeah, I might, I might uh, make a few people upset or whatever, but... Just hear me out, you know, real quick, you know, because some of y'all might want kids one day. I know I don't want kids, you know, um, you know, and I've, I've said plenty of times why I don't. But if I ever did, you know, um, well, I'm still going to keep doing this no matter what, you know, because I'm trying to protect myself, you know. Down here, too. We don't get two, yo, you know. <laughs> so you want to protect them. So let me just get to it. So we don't really think about how powerful these things are, yo. I mean, just think about it real quick. Uh, I, I shot another video, but... I, I was kind of missing some things, you know, so this is my second take. You know, I'll try to make it shorter too. Um, so yeah, for example, these things, you know, are progressing very fast, you know, at an incredible rate. And um, we don't really think about the power it has. This has incredible power, not just from the internet, you know, but, you know, the internet obviously, you know, gives us access to, to use these different kind of apps and stuff like that. But, yo, this has radiation, you know, Radiation, you know, because think about it, yo. Um, by the way, I kind of got this idea, you know, the radiation from the phone um, from Master of Earth. Yeah, I need to check him out, yo. Just go check out Master of Earth. Leave this video if you if you have to, you know. But man, he had, he, he has a way better explanation of things, you know. Man, this dude's changing my life, you know. <laughs> man, I love that guy. But um, yeah, yo. So to get back on topic, um, these these things have radiation because let let me say this, man. Uh, right now, this is my old phone, by the way. I could, like, make a, uh, a FaceTime video from here, where I'm at in this city, you know, in North Texas. Somebody who, who's all the way in Hong Kong or something, you know, the other side of the world, instantly, in seconds, you know, just open the app, okay, boop. Oh, hey, what's going on, friend? Yeah, I'm just hanging out, you know, gonna, you know, enjoy the day, you know, get the day off, you know, the usual. Just like that. This dude's in freaking Hong Kong. On the other side of the world. And I'm able to talk to him instantly, you know. And we don't realize, yo, that these things are getting off radiation. It's on our, on our palms, yo. These things are powerful to our hands. So let me just try to explain the, I, the best I can. So when we're done talking to our friend or homie or whatever, it doesn't have to be in Hong Kong. It could be, you know, your, your buddy from down the street or whatever. And once we're done, you know, okay, I'm done. Where's it go? Right back in the pocket, right? Like all of us do, you know, for many, 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 many years, you know. And we, we never think about it, you know, the, the, the damage it's doing, you know, because you ever had that pain just, you know, down there for no reason? And you never question why? Dude, it has to be because of this. It just has to be. Why else, you know? What? We shouldn't have to be concerned of why we're having a little pain down there, you know. So, like I said before at the beginning of this video, I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying I'm wrong, but I think it's because we have these things in our pockets all the time on us, on our body, every single day, you know. So, what I've been trying to do, yo, oh, the reason I say, you know, if you're on kids, you know, because, um, like I said, if you have this in your pocket all day, that radiation, it's, you know, it's right next. It's right next to your grapefruits, yo. You know, it's just like 
Mm, we don't see it or anything. You know, we don't see the frequencies or anything like that. You know, because it's just a phone, right? But it's just, you know, mm, mm, it, it's on. The internet's on. The Wi-Fi's working. You know, it's just, mm, mm, and then you take it out for a little bit. Okay, I'm done. Mm, mm, you know, right next to your grapefruits. You know, and I can't really say for sure. You know, but I think it's messing with the sperm and stuff like that, and you know, inside. And I think it's, it could be responsible for some of the defects that happen in newborn babies, you know, especially in these times, you know, in the last, well, how long do you think they popular? 10, 15 years, right? You know, in our pockets every day. So I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not trying to be like a conspiracy theorist or something like that, or some kind of master or something of knowledge or whatever. But yo, I think, I think it is, man. Just hear me out on this, yo. So, yeah, you know, I don't want your kids to come out, you know, mentally ill or, or with a disability or missing an eyeball or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's going to happen, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, because we, we're just so used to having these things in our pockets and we don't even question it, yo. So what I'm, what I'm doing, you know, and you don't have to follow my exact steps, but what I've been doing, yo, is I keep my phone this. Fanny pack. I got this from Zoomies for like 17, 18 bucks. You know, so, and also, it's not even about protecting grapefruits too, but check it out, man. When I'm, when I'm about to head out or whatever, go to work or something, I just take my phone and I keep my keys, my wallet, everything in here, you know, right there. Put in there. Bam. And then I'm on my way, you know. And they're, they're fashionable too, you know. I'm not trying to sell. A fanny pack or something, you know, but I think it's pretty cool. It's different. Your phone isn't on your body. Your wallet isn't on your body. Uh, you know, you have to sit down and wallet all the time at school or work or driving wherever. And it looks casual, you know. You like I said, you don't gotta get a fanny pack too. You can just you know have an alternative or just keep your phone in the back pocket, like sometimes I do, you know. Um, but yeah, yo, we just I I think it's best that we learn how to keep our phones off our bodies. You know, these phones need to be a part of our lives, not our lives, like most people that were surrounded by. Man, I don't mean the people I saw at the park at the nature reserve, you know, on their phones, you know, not looking up. Dude, look up for once. Keep your head up for once. Stop looking down. Like you just weren't on your phone earlier, you know, the day before or all week at work. Now you're at, on a Saturday or a day off walking. Dude, oh my God. Oh my god, probably some of y'all are gonna say, oh, there's trendy music or whatever. Yeah, that's cool, no problem with that. Man, yo, just enjoy yourself. You know, day off, enjoy the, the sound of the birds, you know, the water and the, the, the stream or whatever, what have you, you know, the leaves, you know, and the wind. Enjoy that stuff, yo. Or if you're walking a dog, you know, listen to his nails, you know, t you know, hitting the pavement. You can't do that if you get headphones and you're looking down like that, you know. The dog's gonna be around for like seven, six more years, man. So enjoy that. Your dog's company, man. But yeah, man. Just keep your phone off your body. You know, not just to protect your grapefruits, but man, it just looks more, more mature. You just look more aware. You know, just just take away this fanny pack for a second. You know, just you just look more in tune. You look more in sync. You know, because I can't tell you how many times I'm waiting in line at Chipotle or. If I'm making a, a, a food order at my job and there's people just, <laughs> you know, just waiting for the order when they could just, you know, be chilling out, you know, waiting for the order, you know, saying hi, or whatever, maybe a little conversation. Some, some individuals make conversations, you know, at work, you know, when I'm making the food. But that ain't the point, yo. It's like, dude, just keep your, body, keep your phone off your body for once, dude. You know, just try it out. You know, you, you might get used to it. I, I love it, you know, even in my, if I'm at work, Everything stays in my fanny pack, yo, and I'm just at work, you know, I have no problem at all with it, you know, and for many, many years, you know, I would always, you know, check on it, texting girls or whatever. God, I got to end the video, battery low. Um, but so, yeah, I understand, though, like, I understand in everything, like, I get it, you know, and it may take time, you know, but just try it out, yo, and it can make a difference, you know, um, because, like I said, we're, we're just so used to having our head down instead of having our head up. And more in sync, more in tune with everything. You just look more aware. You look more manly. You know, head up, chin up. I'm not trying to be macho or anything, but you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, just be more chill, be more casual, be more in sync. 
be aware of your surroundings too. That that too, you know. It could be a, a robbery or something, you know, happening in a matter of seconds. That that one or two seconds, you know, it, it can it can make a difference. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's pretty much what I want to say, yo. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm not trying to ramble on like I, I always do, like I always do. Um, but yeah, man, just try it out for a little bit, you know. Like I said, you may you may like it, and you, it may become a habit. This is my new habit now, you know. When I'm when I'm uh, out and about, whatever, I just since walking. When I'm crossing the street, whatever, I'm just more in tune, not looking down on my phone. God, dude, I see that too many times, yo. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, yo. Stay on top of the water game. Keep holding your seed. Eat better. Meditate. Sun gaze. Get some sun in your skin, you know. Don't be afraid to walk around, you know, in public with a shirt off, you know. What are they gonna do? It's outside. It's hot. Good lord. Um, but yeah. Y'all be careful, yo. Be nice to each other. And um, until the next video. Am I missing something? I am, aren't I? Until the next video. Alright. <laughs> Bye.